Here's how to fix not having the green screen option show up in your YouTube Shorts. When I created this video a few weeks ago, there were a lot of questions and comments about not having the green screen option actually show up in their YouTube Shorts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through different scenarios that you can try in order to make sure that you've got the green screen option on your phone. Be sure to stay to the end because there was another question that came up about using other people's YouTube Shorts in their YouTube Shorts, and I'm going to talk about that as well. But let's get to correcting the option of having green screen to begin with. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the most recent version of YouTube installed on your phone. And here's how you do that. Okay, you want to go into your store, whether you're on Apple or Android, and search for YouTube and pull it up. If you have the most recent version, you'll see open to the right hand side of the app like you see on my screen. If you do not have the most recent version, it will say update. So all you'll need to do is click that and it will update the version. Another way to check to see if you have the green screen option is it's only going to show if you've already created a YouTube short. You may have to wait for 24 hours after you publish your YouTube short for the green screen to appear. Here's another way that you can try to get the green screen to show up as an option in your YouTube shorts. We're going to need to go to the app and clear the data and cache. Let me show you. You're going to need to go into your apps on your phone. I'm on an Android, so this may look a little bit different if you're on an Apple, but I've gone into settings and I'm scrolling down to apps, click on apps, and then you'll need to go all the way to the bottom. We're trying to get to YouTube, so mine are listed alphabetically. Um, so once you get to YouTube, you want to click on YouTube and it opens up and then you'll see under storage, click storage. And then at the bottom, you have this option to clear data and clear cache. Now you can click both of those and then go back into YouTube Short and have that option on the menu now. So if I click this down arrow, you can see, and I had it before, but just so you can see it, it's green screen. That's where it'll be um, labeled or at least listed in the menu items within YouTube Shorts. Um, but that should be there. And I would say the last thing to try if those three things don't work is to uninstall the YouTube app, maybe even shut down your phone and turn it back on, um, and then reinstall it to see if you have it listed. The last thing that I want to review with you is the one thing that had come up in the comments, and it wasn't to do with getting the green screen to show up in YouTube Shorts, but it's how can you use the green screen on other people's shorts? So let me get into the app so I can show you in the app what you can do, because there are a couple of options that might be of interest to you. What we're going to do is we're going to go into YouTube and then go through some of the shorts to see which ones have the remix option enabled. To save time, I went ahead and pulled up a YouTube short, and this is a Gary Vaynerchuk short. If you look at this YouTube shorts, you can see on the right hand side, there's the give a thumbs up so you can like it, dislike it. And then you've got share and then you've got remix and then you've got um, like an icon or a logo in the bottom right corner. So the option remix right now is enabled. If that was disabled on someone's YouTube short, then it would be grayed out. So let's go ahead and tap remix. This list of menu items comes up. Um, you can use the sound, which in this case, it's um, Gary Vaynerchuk talking. Um, which is not what I'm going to show you in this one. You've got col collab. That one's an alternative to green screen, but cut this video is one that you can add your video with green screen to. And then of course, if you're a nerd and you like stats, you can click on that. But those are the four options that you have here. So let's go ahead and click on cut this video first. The platforms that have the attention are changing right now. Okay. So the video automatically started playing. Um, and what you can see at the bottom, and it even shows you, is to drag to adjust video. Now, of course, you're going to want to listen to the video first so that you can hear what portion of his video that you want to um, include in your um, green screen, green screen option. So if you press and hold the video at the bottom, um, which I don't know if you can see where my finger is pressing. I think you can, but I'm just pressing on that. and. I was moving the video around. Then you can also take the handles and shorten it and it shows you in the middle how many seconds that's gonna be. So right now it's 4.1, now it's 4.2, etc. Okay, so that's how you can choose the video option. If you look at the top, in a normal YouTube short, that bar is gray 
if it hasn't been used yet. And then it's red showing you how much of your YouTube short time you've actually used. It's blue if you're using someone else's. So if you notice that, that's why I wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, because this defaults to 15 seconds, next. Then you have the option here to change it to 60 seconds. Okay, so that's where you can change that. So let's say that we chose that. Let's go back. We're going to delete that. You're going to go back. Okay, so we're back to this one. Again, we're going to click Remix. We're going to choose Cut This Video. The platforms that have the attention. We're going to move this around. We're going to say Are this is how much we want to use. And then we're going to click Facebook. Next. Okay. So now it's on 15 seconds. Now, if I know that I'm just going to add like two or three seconds or anything that's going to be less than 15 seconds, then you can keep it there. I always advise people to tap that so you can get 60 seconds. It's, in fact, that's one of the first things I talk about in my video where I talk through how to use YouTube Shorts, how to actually create YouTube Shorts, and the one that talks about the green screen. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click six, 60 seconds just in case so you know you've got plenty of room to discuss it and do what you want to do. Now, if you want to add green screen, so you've got his video at the very beginning. And the reason why you might want to do this is that you've got an opinion or you may and you can just record right now and state your opinion or say, hey, this is how it's going to change in 2024. Or if you want to add a green screen, you may want to show like the stats on the three platforms that he was talking about in that YouTube short in the background so that you can kind of validate and say, yes, this is why he's saying that and show visually what that looks like. So click the down arrow. Now you have all these options here, including green screen. So if you tap green screen, um, I'm just going to pull up I think I had one down. You can use video or images, but I'm just going to pull up this one because I don't have the stats pulled up, but this is my workout from yesterday. <laughs> so let's just pretend that this was some sort of stats that corresponded with what uh, Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about. So what you can do is you can pinch yourself, of course, um, which I talk about in my how to create YouTube shorts um, video, and then you can move yourself around. And this is the green screen effect. So I now have that in the background. And if I want to talk about that, you can see right now it's not recording the actual YouTube short, but you hit the record button and it will. So now it's recording. And now I can talk about what these are. And then if I want to move myself around and you know point in different directions, then I can do that. You can start and stop it as well. But this is how you can add the green screen to someone else's video. And it's not talking literally like I can't take Gary Vaynerchuk's video and then green screen it but here's the alternative and it actually works and looks even better so let me show you that one now we're back at the Gary Vaynerchuk uh, YouTube short that we're going to use as a remix so again at the bottom right you've got the remix option go ahead and tap remix and now you have that same menu be pulled up let's click collab okay now again Again, you can choose what part of the video that you want to show in this collab. And I'll show you what the next screen looks like. So when you go to do this, you know what you're actually looking for and how it's going to look in the end. Um, again, it's showing 15 seconds. So I'm going to tap that, change it to 60. But you noticed that when that, so notice the timer when it pops up. Okay, so when I tap that, so it's 15 seconds. I tap it again, it shows 55 seconds. So instead of it showing 60 seconds, it's saying I'm already using five seconds with the Gary Vaynerchuk clip. I now have 55 seconds that I can use in order to complete this YouTube short. You don't have to use all 55 seconds, but that's how much time you have to do a reaction video or talk about what it is that he's doing. Okay, so let's just say we want to move this around and we are going to change the video portion. This is the one that we want to talk about and we're going to click next. And it takes a moment to process, but when it does, now we are going to be side by side. And this is how people do reaction type videos. Okay, you can actually, so you can see here you've got different options in your menu. Um, if you want to change the layout, you can see right here it's showing like side by side right now. But if you tap that, now you can see you've got different layouts. You can do side by side where the clip's on the left, the clip's on the right, it's above you or it's below you, okay? So depending on what look or feel you want to do, then you can change that. So I'm just gonna keep it on this one. Um, then you've got 
Um, this is if you want to do a voiceover, if you want to set a timer, you can set a timer. And then if you want to just switch the camera around, um, we're going to keep it like, the, like it is right now. I'm going to press record and I'm not going to be able to talk during the video because we're going to be hearing his video. Okay, so this is why the reaction type video is really good doing this um, feature within YouTube Shorts. Watch this. It's more about post-production than actually your time. I couldn't give a bigger piece of advice than telling all of you, especially some of the young dogs in here who never even did Facebook. Facebook. He said young dogs. Um, obviously, you can't say that in the video because he's talking, but that's how you can essentially do the green, green screen with someone else's video. Um, and you don't have to say anything or show any reaction or anything if you don't want to, but that's another option for green screen when you're using somebody else's YouTube short. This video might have prompted you to take that first step in creating your first YouTube short. If so, this video is going to be perfect for you.